Hi everybody, welcome to Shaquille's YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and I am here to do a proper unboxing of the wig Hunter by Aesthetica. You're not gonna wanna miss this because this is a wig that has bangs and people are always asking me to show more bangs. So here we go. But before I dive in, I wanna remind you to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can learn even more about alternative hair. Okay, I've been really excited to try this wig. I've always thought that it looks so cute and funky on all of those stock images that we see. I'll put one of the images right here. Um, this is such a good one for just that tussled, beachy wave look that looks effortless. And one that I would love to use some like sea salt spray on to help bring out those um, kind of tussled waves even more. Okay, I have this here. Oh dear, we're stuck. There we go. I have this here in the color called Caramel Kiss. Oh my goodness, it is such a lovely medium brown color. So here's that medium brown. Um, it is more of a warmer brown in my opinion. And then we do have some lighter blonde highlights throughout. And there's also a little bit of reddish blonde in here, I would say as well. It is leaning more of a warm color with some neutral blonde in it. Okay, right off the bat, when I am holding this, this feels like a pretty lightweight wig and a pretty low density. I'm not gonna say it's the lowest density, but it is a pretty low density. This is made with synthetic fibers and they're not the softest fibers I've ever felt, but they're also not rough and icky. So <laughs> that's a good thing, right? All right, before I put it on, let me take you on a tour of this cap. It's a pretty basic standard cap. We don't have a lace front, which is totally fine because we do have bangs on here that's gonna cover that up. So not to worry, it's still gonna look wonderful even without that realistic lace front. Um, this here is not velvet. So it might not be as comfy, I'm gonna say, as one that would have velvet. Uh, this is just a wefted top that goes around a monofilament crown. So instead of having a full monofilament top where you can part it, you can't have that, but this little section here is almost gonna be where all of the hair sort of spiders out of, <laughs> just like that. And it's gonna give you a nice illusion of scalp sort of right in the middle here, which is a just a nice little extra touch. Um, we do have an open wefted cap, which is really airy and ventilated and breathable. We don't have any velvet ear tabs, so they're just standard ear tabs here, which again, aren't gonna be as comfortable as a velvet ear tab would. And same with the nape here. It's just a standard extended nape, not a velvet nape. So again, might not be as comfortable as your velvet napes would be. And we have some hook adjusters to adjust your circumference. So those just kinda, oh gosh, it's impossible to do anything with my nails sometimes. <laughs> they just come out and hook in to any of those little slots along the way. All right, so that's your cap. Pretty standard, pretty basic. Um, before I put it on, I am going to guess that it's gonna feel probably pretty lightweight, but it's not gonna feel as comfortable on my head as many others, but let's find out. How cute is this? I love it. I do, I really do. Let's talk about the style. So the bangs, I like how it's a nice, full bang. It kind of comes all the way across. It doesn't stop. I've had wigs where bangs stop like here. <laughs> kind of like that. And then you're like left with all this dead space here and it's horrible. But I like how the bangs come all the way across. So it covers up all of that area. <laughs> Here's the really cute tussled waves. I love how the waves are, like I said, tussled. They're not necessarily a structured nice wave. There's just a few of them and it sort of creates a messy appearance. Okay, earlier I was saying how this would be a good one to add some sea salt spray. I'm not gonna add it now because this is not mine to keep. I'm not keeping this wig, so I, I don't wanna add any products to it. However, I suggest you guys go and get the sea salt spray by Aesthetica. So again, this is from Aesthetica as well. They're both Aesthetica. So get the sea salt spray from Aesthetica. Um, when you spray it in here, you're gonna scrunch it up a bit. You can even hold your wig upside down from your head, spray some in, shake it, and it's gonna give it some volume and it's gonna really define all of these waves and give it almost like a messy, wavy, beachy wave look and it's gonna be so cute. 
So this is a pretty light density and it is lightweight feeling on. Um, it does not feel heavy at all, which is a really nice feeling. But in terms of how this feels, it's not the most comfortable cap I've ever put on. It's not horrible by any means. I can totally wear this and be fine. But just in comparison, um, of course, I do prefer having velvet ear tabs of velvet nape and even the velvet band across the front if it's for those basic caps. But I mean, at the end of the day, a wig's a wig and I will wear this because the style is cute. We're going to have a pretty low profile look on this one. And that's because there's not a ton of permatees. There is a little bit, just a little bit um, around sort of around where this monofilament crown is, but it's really minuscule, minuscule. What a funny word. Um, and there's a minuscule amount of permities at the crown as well. And just a little bit throughout the wefting on the sides. But like I said, it's it's so small. There's not a lot. You're not gonna feel like it's a big poof ball on your head. You're not gonna feel like you're wearing a helmet. It feels really lightweight, really low profile, pretty low density for the most part, low to medium maybe. Um, but it's it's really light and airy. Okay, so here is that lack of lace front here. That's what you're gonna see. So um, you're not gonna wanna do this with your bangs because <laughs> why would you? <laughs> so you're gonna wanna keep those bangs down. Of course, if the wind blows though, the wind might blow and you know, you might look something like this or this. So, I mean, when you ever, whenever you have bangs, of course, you don't necessarily need to spend that extra money on a lace front but a lace front still is nice to have when you have bangs in case that wind blows. But I mean, I don't think it's gonna be too much of a problem. Well, let me show you that monofilament crown. Let me just find that spot here. So it's not gonna be like too much of an illusion of scalp, but it's just gonna be where all of the fibers are coming out of. And it's all from that lace-like material just in the middle there. Hopefully you saw that. It's, it's funny because I don't know what I'm showing you. I'm going to have to look back and make sure I actually showed you something. I do find that this particular wig fits pretty true to average. Um, I am a petite size. I measure 20.5 inches in circumference, 11 and a half front to nape, and 11 and a half ear to ear. So typically I find petite sizes, oh, bangs are in my eyes, <laughs> petite sizes work the best for me. Um, or petite average. I do wear a lot of average size wigs though, and that's because I love all of the styles and I just make it work. And this one can work for me just by bringing in those adjusters. I would bring them in maybe another notch or two. Um, there is a little bit of extra bulk in the cap. It's not too much though, but there is definitely some extra bulk. So if you're okay with a little bit extra and you're a petite like me, then this could work. But if not, then maybe stay away from it. Um, this would work well for average. And there is extra, extra room within the circumference here. So if you have a larger circumference than average, this would probably work for you as well. Probably around like a 22 inch circumference maybe. I wouldn't say necessarily a 23 inch circumference. That would probably make you feel like your um, brains are gonna be squished out of your head. <laughs> okay, so since I have this with me, I'm gonna show you another color in Hunter. So. This is Hunter still, and I have this in the color R6 slash 28F. So we're gonna have a six base. The six is gonna be a medium brown. So that's the, all the medium brown you see. And the 28 is all that sort of gingery highlights that you see throughout it. So it will definitely lean warm and it will definitely be darker than Caramel Kiss. Let me do a switcheroo so you can see what R6 slash 28F looks like on a person. I do find that the style of this one and my Caramel Kiss one are very consistent. There's not a lot of differences at all, which is really nice because sometimes you get a style and from one wig to the next, even though it's the same one, there's, um, there's a little bit of differences, but this one is very consistent. Let me do a quick spin for you so you can see this one. All right, I'm not gonna talk for hours and hours about this. I feel like I've said most of the things that I need to say. Overall, I love this wig. I love the style of this. I love the density and I love how lightweight it feels. 
What I don't love as much is the fact that the cap is just so basic that it's not as comfortable as I would like it to be, but it's not horrible. And now, even though there's not a full monofilament top, I don't necessarily feel like this one needs it. I am totally okay with just this monofilament crown. For me, that's enough realism. I do find that wigs with bangs just make the wig look more natural in a way. So not having the ability to part it anywhere, I feel is totally fine. The crown just is enough for me. Oh, and before I go, I wanna show you how this works in a half a puff down. I always like using clips or half a puff downs. They make it just super quick and easy. All right, here she is. You just have to be careful whenever you're styling open wefted caps that you cover up the wefting. Um, so you have to kind of pull some of the fibers down so that you don't see through. Otherwise, you might see something that looks like this. Can't even see if I'm showing you anything. <laughs> um, but if you pull too tight and too much, then the wefting pulls through. So make sure you bring your fibers down so it covers up any of that weft. All right, she is super cute up and half up, half down. I really love her. All right, if you have tried Hunter before and want to share with us your experience, please go ahead and put it in the comments below. Let us know how you feel about her. Maybe you love her, maybe you don't love her, but let us know what about her you love or don't love because it's always nice to learn about everyone else's experiences too. And if you are interested in Hunter by Aesthetica, then make sure you go and view her on our website at chiquelle.com, chiquelle.ca if you're in Canada or chiquelle.com.au if you're in Australia. And as always, thank you so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate your support and I will see you guys next time. Bye everybody. Thank you.